Oh, I'm proud of the Who we got back there? Ray. Yes, indeed. That's 1969 Black Panther Party. Education cadre, all right? Very much Fred was my leader, all right? But one thing I do want to say to everybody, say about Mark Clark, that a lot of people don't know about that brother, all right? Let me tell you a story, all right? We ain't got no bull, huh? Okay, listen, I keep a lot of shit to myself, but one day uh, the chairman asked me to take some pamphlet papers down to the Greyhound bus station. I mistook the brother and thought he says, take them to Peoria. <laughs> and take them down and put them on the bus. So he didn't like me taking them to Peoria, but I put them on the bus and took them to Peoria. And then when I said, listen, Chairman, I'm in Peoria at the Greyhound bus station. The first thing he said to me, well, what the fuck you doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I explained to him that it was my fault, it was my mistake. So he said, well, sit tight, I'm going to call some brothers to come pick you up. All right, one of the brothers that he called, I will never forget, is Mark Clark and a brother named Leon. They call him Fame. Okay, so they came to the bus station to pick me up. So then naturally, you know, put the bus, put the box of papers in the car, and we took it to a path and crib that in Peoria. Okay, so he said, well, hang on down there with your brothers for a little while. Okay, so Mark and I and Fang and some more brothers went to sell papers on Bradley campus in Peoria. Okay, we got arrested on the campus for selling newspapers. Okay, so we got out of jail. So when I called the chairman, I said, hey, listen, we out of jail. What you want me to do? Well, come on back to Chicago. Bring them back with you. Okay? <laughs> so we all in the car, you know, on the road, you know, you know, you know, smoking marijuana at the time. <laughs> you know, drinking a can true. of beer <laughs> at the time. I'm just telling the truth. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we had a good time coming back to Chicago, all right? Now, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm <laughs> I'm I'm speed the process up a little bit. So... So anyway, December 4, I will never forget it in my life. We had a PE class over at the People's Church December 3rd. Yep. Okay. On a Wednesday. I'm going to tell you all something. Bobby Rush, okay, you know, he, you know, I seen him discipline a brother and he took it a little too far. December 3rd, that night, and the brother almost died. He almost choked on his tongue. Yeah. Mm. Somebody had to put a spoon. If you were there, you might remember up under his tongue so that, you know, he wouldn't die, right? All right, I'm going to speed up a little bit. So we all, we left the church about 12, 15, December 4th in the a.m. It was snowing. It was snowing outside. The chairman had a red rug on the floor. So when we coming in, you know, tracking in the snow and the rain, you understand? Know First thing I did was, you know, get a, get a bucket and some water and start cleaning off the red carpet, the footprints. Okay, now, so that's the faithful night, right? So the chairman asked me, you know, in the course of that night, I left the quarter to one, 1245. So the chairman asked me that night if I had a, enough food for the BFC program. So I says, uh, no, chairman, we don't have enough food. We need food at some more sites. He says, what you need? I said, basically eggs, bacon, biscuits, you know, stuff like that, sausages, right? He says, okay, how much do you need? I said, I don't know. So he reached in his pocket, your father did, the chairman, okay, pulled out some money, gave me whatever he gave me, I don't remember at that time, for the food, for the programs, okay, that's right. So I says, chairman, I got one problem. He said, what's your problem? I said, I'm on security tonight. And the last thing Mark told me was, brother, I'll take your security that night. Go feed them kids. That's what he told me that night. Now, I'm not thinking I'm not going to never see the brother no more alive. Or the chairman alive anymore at all. I'm thinking that, you know, when we hook up tomorrow, everything is the same. See what I'm saying? I went to a Panther crib somewhere out west. I forget exactly where. Now, it's been 40 years ago. Went to sleep, okay? Got a phone call, maybe a little after 345. Okay, the chairman is dead. So we all put on our clothes. We all rushed down to the house here at the time. And, uh, you know, all hell and trouble. So that's my story, everybody. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.